am in uh, Thomastown at the moment. Take a look at this job. Would you believe me if I told you that this cladding work is non-compliant? I can smell non-compliant works in the So what we're dealing with here is a weather groove natural product. It's from WeatherTex. Have a look there. And just take a look at the job, how it looks like. I mean, it does look good. Your work is good from far, but far from good. So the homeowner has got a number of leaks, and I've already found where the leaks are coming from. It is due to the inadequate installation of this cladding. Take a look. Now, before I go, any further into the analysis of this non-compliant and defective installation of this cladding, let me show you a couple of things. The manufacturer states that if you do want to use nails, it has to be finished flush and it has to be stainless as well. So as you can see here that um, you could use two types of fasteners. Now it is unknown if they're fixed directly to the frame or they've um, used packers but the minimum they should use is stainless um, brad nails so they've got um, here this is not a stainless ND50 SS nail and also don't forget that they have to be flush when you do nail them so if you do look here and use my little ruler you can see that it is uh, three mil in this one, two mil. This one, this is around five mil. Look at that. This one's popping out. This one as well. Look at these nails, oh my God. And now take a look at this join. Look how they join the panels. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is a butt join. Look at that. And there's a butt join there as well. So, take a look at this if you can see it. Can you see this isolation foil? Let me have a look if I can get a better angle. So I managed to lift the panel up a bit and you can see this isolation foil, that blue color right there, it goes behind the flashing. It should be over the flashing. Um, and uh, they're getting water in the property. Look at that. So the company does have a joiner that they can use on the job obviously these guys didn't use anything and the same thing here look at this wow all the way and there's also a butt joint there at the top i have to go on the roof to check it out so here's some damage uh, lower roof now and you can see that it did use a dpc right there that little black plastic let me have a look right there and then they've siliconed the rest obviously they couldn't be stuffed cleaning the boards or painting them even i reckon look at these butt joints horrible horrible workmanship they haven't even painted and sanded the timber work look at this look at this wow look at this cladding how it's going in and out so you can see they've tried to repair this as well by just putting silicon. Do your best and silicon the rest. So another joint here with silicon as well. Take a look at this installation. The nails are already coming out, rusting as well. Here's another nail. Look at that. They've obviously came back and siliconed this recently. I can't even do the silicon properly. Look at that. And the box cutters are not sealed to the rain head, as you can see. That's common throughout. The nails here are coming off as well. Look at this. I'm told that there is water damage inside this section of the home right there, and uh, somewhere on top of here as well. And I'm pretty sure you guys can guess where it's coming from 
Now, the manufacturer do state in their installation manual that it is a requirement to install a Z flashing to all horizontal joins. As you can see, the water will simply flow behind this cladding and make its way to the window below. Please, painter, come back. Check out this join here. Look at that. These aircon units are not even strapped down. They have to be strapped down. Spirit I can't discharge on flashing. This little condensation drain has to be redirected out into the drainage. So it looks like this builder has a lot of work to do.